start with a recap of the week and just how you think uh, things went so far? Uh, you know, broken record, solid practices. I uh, thought the kids did a nice job. And Tuesday was good, Wednesday was good, Thursday was good. Got another day to continue to prepare against, obviously, we know a quality opponent. So, um, like the way uh, these kids come out to work every day and, and really work to get better. What was it like having Brandon here and just kind of what was his message to the team? His message was, to the team was uh, you know, you're in the moment, enjoy this moment. We all know what he's accomplished and what he did while he was here. Uh, crazy thing is, is most of those kids don't know who he is. <laughs> they know who he is by his pictures and the things he did, but they've never seen him, met him before. So there's just a handful of these kids that actually played with him. So his, his vision was very clear. You know, um, play the game that you love, expect to be great. And the things that I learned just talking to a few people about him was he was an extreme competitor. He talked about that. He talked about practicing the right, the right way, letting it loose on game day, um, getting after it, and uh, you know, have fun playing the game that, uh, that uh, he loves and that uh, you know you hope that every kid that plays this game loves. So it's just so awesome to have him back and be around our kids. Uh, I was able to spend a half hour with him today, and uh, you know, I learned a lot as a head coach. You know, every day you learn something more about the place you're at. He gives me an opportunity to do that, so uh, I'm glad he's here. What did, he, what did he share with you that you maybe hadn't heard before, or what, what did you learn from him? Uh, just, you know, communications on on where it was. Um, obviously, is not where we are today, and um, the type of team that uh, they had was exactly what I looked from afar and saw. With, you know, he felt that they were a, a very skilled unit, a uh, tough-minded team. I knew that they played in a very tough league. The league has changed since then. He was, he was one of the first ones to bring it up and say, you know, this this league is even more crazy than it's ever been. Uh, but just, you know, the the understanding of of his experience here was great for me. And what we talk about in recruiting, he shared the fact that it was very workmanlike for him. Um, he could go through his day and truly be a student athlete, and not a bunch of distractions. And that's the kind of kid it sounds like he was when he played. He was very focused. He, he had a mindset. He didn't really care how many people liked him. Um, he wasn't in a popularity contest. He wanted to come out and be the best on his team, and he obviously was. How Coach, how are you looking forward to Cal this weekend? What kind of what, what are you looking forward to from your squad? Well, I'm looking forward to playing a football game. I'm excited about the opportunity to get out and compete again. Uh, we need to play a team game and from top to bottom, offense, defense, special teams. And we're playing another quality opponent. We get to come back home and play. So it's, it's another tremendous opportunity. Expectations are high, which they will be every single week as, as we continue to move forward.